Hi guys, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to start with the eloquent and we will fetch the data from the database also. So these are some major points that we are going to discuss through this video. So first of all we will learn some theoretical part about the eloquent, what is that and after that we have to do a database configuration for the uh, fetch data inside the Laravel and we will make model and controller and after that we will make a router to show the database controller and at the last we will fetch the data from the database all right so first question is the what is the eloquent so eloquent is a simple and a very easy technique for the getting data with, uh, from the database and in this technique we don't need to write any kind of database query we just have to use the functions and these functions are enough to uh, enough to get the data from the database in the any ways uh, in the way of a relational model in the way of uh, uh, normal queries in the way of uh, where condition grouping and joints and everything will be done with the only through the functions all right so i hope you just got uh, got the basic idea about the eloquent and inside the eloquent we need to create a model and this model will be fetch the data from the database all right so we will do this all things through the uh through the programming now so now let's start with the second point which is uh we need to disc uh, we need to config some database configuration so for that i'm just going to open the two file first of all is uh, just go inside the config which is uh, there and just click on the uh, database uh, database.php and here you will see uh, the MySQL connections all right so we are going to uh, make the connection obviously with the MySQL so here you see we have to put the database name username and password and host they all are coming from uh, env function what is that so Laravel said that if you just want to uh, configure your database then you have to do it inside the environment file which is the dot env file on your root of your uh, website so here you can see this dot env file all right so we have to do all things here not he uh, not inside the uh, database dot config all right so we don't need to write here so we will make our configuration inside the dot env file so let's open the env file and uh, do all configurations here so let's so first of all we need to define the four things host name which is okay which is the local host after that we have to define the database name and username username is root that's fine in database name my database name uh, that's database password is red hat at the rate one two three in your case it can be different all right so now uh, what is my database for that i'm just going to open my php admin so that you can also check that uh, from which database we are going to connect so which is youtube youtube have the one table and it have the two records so we are just going to connect with the youtube database all right so let's uh, write here youtube okay so our configuration is done that's it we don't need to uh, do much things this is a very simple thing so now uh, we have to define the model so I'm just going to open the command prompt so here I'm just going to write here PHP artisan make model and model name so my model name is user all right so one more thing I want to tell you that uh, your model name should be singular and your database name should be plural to uh, make a better configuration all right so because this is the standard of the laravel that told that your database table should be the plural of your uh, model name uh, we can do the obviously the manual configuration also but this is the recommended thing so that i just uh, take my uh, model name is user uh, where it is so yep this is inside the app and here it is okay so and my uh, table name is uh, plural okay so uh, we just uh, define the model name and here we will do some configuration if we need to do okay 
so i will there is a lots of property inside the database model we will discuss through all these things in the next video in this video we are just focusing on the very basic things so now let's uh, let's see the second thing next thing is after that we need to create a controller obviously so i'm just going to write here php artisan make controller and controller name users all right so i just make it a users and it should be find inside the http controller and if, if it is not showing then you can refresh it all right so this is here so i'm just going to define a function so that i can make a better routing and inside it i'm just simply going to write here return uh, db connection will be here after the configure the routing i will write as amount of code and it will responsible for show the database data, data from the database okay so now just define this is also done now we have to define the routings so for that we have to go inside the routes and just click on the fab.php right so here i'm just going to write here route get and just write here simply db or whatever you want to put the route name and here write users at the rate index all right so now let's hit that part just write here db and here you can see that we are able to see this so now just uh, make a very small code this is also done now let's write that code for fetch the data so first of all i need to import my model here so just use app and my model name is user that's fine and now we just need to simply return user and all all right and now let's see here now you can see that we got the two datas here okay so uh, here you can see that this is a one line of code here and one file of import we need to do for the fetch the data all right so let's say if you find the data with the uh, with the behalf of id then you can just write this one and now the data will be come from this id one okay so if i just write here two data will come from the id two okay so if you don't want to data inside the json then you can just put here variable name like dollar data and just simply uh, let's write here all and just print r print underscore or r just write data now you can see that you got the old data here so that's all about the uh, basic of eloquent and how we can create the model and how we can fetch the data if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video